Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Green Valley Parkinson's Support Group Exercise Class, and welcome to those of you joining us online on YouTube for the first time. You're going to need a chair without arms and a pair of light hand weights, a tennis ball and a larger ball, and we work out for about 45 minutes, so have some water close by. I don't know where you are exactly in your home, but make sure that you have room, okay? We extend our arms, we use hand weights, we move around a little bit, and um, yeah, if you're married, you can hold hands, otherwise not so much. So make sure that you have that space. You gotta get them closer together. I know. Place to She's sick of him. No. All right, well, hope you all had a great weekend, and um, I hope your, your team won. Okay, well, what? I'm going to stay neutral on this, all right? So, uh, again, welcome. Come forward in the chair. We start with positioning ourselves toward the front of the chair, and um, your feet up wide and on the floor for balance. With our breathing, sit tall. Take a deep breath through the nose and let it out slowly through the mouth. Again. And let it out. Bow the head. And now look up, stretching the neck, relaxing the jaw. Your mouth opens slightly. Back to a neutral position. Looking forward, we tilt the head, ear a little closer to the shoulders. And again, drop the chin to the chest, circle the head. Keeping these nice and slow and smooth. Drop the chin to the chest and raise it up, stretching and back to a neutral position. Turn the head, look over your shoulder, and then to the other shoulder. Good, and a little faster, side to side. And a nod, up, down, up, down. Again, looking forward, roll the shoulders, big circles, and the other way. And some shoulder shrugs. Like, I don't know, Andy, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, all right then. <laughs> Up and down, good job. The arms extend and the shoulders relax, moving the fingers. <laughs> Stretch them out, tapping each finger to the thumb. Scratch something. Squeeze, make a tight fist. And then relax, extend the finger circle. One, two, two three, four, four five. five, reverse it, five, five four, four, three, two, one. one. This is it, big arm circles. Be aware of who's beside two. you. Big <laughs> circles, four. yeah. Five. And then reverse that circle, five. working four. shoulders. Three, three, two, <laughs> That's not, good. Not one. And those arms overhead. Look up as you reach. It's one, one and, and two. two. Oh, I forgot and to tell you. Three. We count. And four, four and, and one more. Five, and. and then we come to the side. It's a flexed hand, and it's to the shoulder and out one, and in. Two, two three, four, four five. Come down, resting one with a bent elbow and the other arm stretching overhead, but looking forward. Perfect. And then stretch. Oh, yes, Trudy, doesn't that feel good? Uh huh. And then cross them, twisting. Perhaps you see someone behind you. And then to the other side. Awesome. Focus is forward again. The arms are uncrossed and the hands here. 
As you shift the weight, the opposite hip is lifted. Up. Two. two. Thank you. And three. Three. And four. And one more. Five. Miss Jay taking it into a march. <laughs> yeah, this is just warm up. I don't know what you've done this morning. Always allowing some space between you and the back of the chair. How's the volume? It might be a little loud, but you know, it's not bothering me. Okay. <laughs> Is it all right with it's everyone? Good. Okay. Yeah, Titanic. Okay. Titanic. Yeah. Titanic, yes. Titanic on a Monday morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Reach down and grab your favorite weights. You don't have one, they'll be appointed to you. <laughs> Sit tall. We're going to start with a bicep curl. Um, the feet flat on the floor. Raise those weights to the shoulder. It's one, one two, two, good, three. three. Count with us. Four, four five, six, six seven, seven, awesome. Eight, eight nine, nine, ten. And down. Yeah, use your outdoor voice. Now, what's the worst that could happen? They come in and tell us. What can happen? <laughs> so sit tall, raise them up. It's one. one. Two, three, three go, Marcia. Four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They drop to the outside of the chair legs, rotating the arm and shoulders forward. Pull them back and stretch, pinching the shoulder blades together. Again, to a neutral position. One is lifted, the other tucked. Looking forward, it's that lateral stretch. And then the other arm drops and this one lifts. Perfect. And come up. Um, one weight. That's all we need. One weight, but both hands on it. Again, think of your posture as you sit tall. The arms extend, the shoulders relax. The weight drops to the back. It's an overhead extension. It's up. Wow. Two, two, good, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And down it's that quick kind of brief but needed, right? A good stretch. Sit tall again. Fingers wrap the arms straight up and the weight drops to the back. And it's up. One, two, two, what? Three. Oh, four. four. chair, the arms crossed, and again, sit tall, but look forward as the legs extend and the feet lift. It's flex One, and point. Two, two three, three, good, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Toes up, the heels are touching and the toes are out One, to the side. Two, three, four, four reverse five, it. Heels five, out, two, heels out. Three, three, Four, five, and they come to rest on the floor, separate the feet, uncross the arms, but lace the fingers. Lifting a knee, the hand goes just below it, and circle, it's a friend. One, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, the other way. Five, five four, three, three good, two, two, one, put it down, shift to the other side, lift it up, and circle one, one two, two, three, four, four five, five, the other way. Five, Four, three, two, one, and down. And forward a little bit in the chair as you extend the leg, trying to keep the foot on the floor and still kind of a straight leg. The hands cradling the knee. It's a flat back. As you reach forward from the hip, the arms travel down. Maybe you need to tie your shoe. I don't know. No, slip-ons, all right, so come up, <laughs> bring that leg in, the other one extends, and it's a stretch. Try not to bounce, but just go down, drop the head, and take a deep breath, nice, and the end, come up. Again, with that first leg, the arms are out, fingers spread apart. As you twist, 
the opposite hand reaches for the foot. Looking down at the foot, the other arm is reaching to change a light bulb in the ceiling. Yeah. No, no, okay, come up. <laughs> Same arm as leg, reach again, looking down at the foot, focus on it. Good job. Y'all breathing, right? Okay, <laughs> drop the arms. <sighs> and that leg extends, opposite arm to leg, reach down. Well, you'd be surprised how many people don't breathe. <laughs> and come up, not all day, but all right. And again, reach, looking down, but stretching. Perfect, nice, Ed. And come up, the arms drop, and we come back to this position where we need both weights. We're gonna do an overhead press. So those fingers again, wrap, soft but firm. The weights are here. And then we rotate them out. So fingers on top like binoculars, and then they come to the side, and then they go out a bit, and it's straight up. One, One. pull them down. Two, Two. yes, three, three. Woo. Four. four. Looking good, Dennis. Five. Six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. And down, take a break. Look at you with the three of you in the same color. Yeah, Two of you have the same yeah color. I know. <laughs> By accident, I'm sure. All right, here, and they come to the side, extend, make some noise, touch at the top. One, two, two oh yeah, three, three four, four, you can do it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. You want to put them down? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so do I. All right, there they go. Great job. Three upper body exercises we've done. So come forward in the chair, taking it in a wide position. Um, Parkinson's loves to just make everything tight, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, and yes. stiff. And especially the hips and ankles, we want to keep, you know, flexible for balance. So sit tall, the arms are out, those fingers spread apart, placing the hand on the inside supporting this, pushing back slightly straight up, and then it's twisting. Reach for the ceiling, look at your fingertips. The other hand is sliding down the inside of the cap toward the ankle and the floor. Clock arms, 12 and six, slowly return to three and nine. And then this one comes on the inside, straight up, a twist at the waist, reach up with that open hand. Looking up at the ceiling, and then here, the arms drop, pivot on the heel, and then the ball of the foot. We close everything up and sit tall. Smiles are optional. All right. Arms are crossed, and it's a flat back. The knees open. The weight is on the outside of the ankle. Yeah, like you just bought some shoes. You cannot return them. Come on and break them in a little bit. So stretch it out. Perfect. And there. We're going to do some seated lunging. And if you've been in class for a while, you're familiar with it. Otherwise, you'll just catch on. So we come forward with a little bend in the knee, shoulders over hips until now. And now it's here and the arms extend. Good. And we come back. It's got a lot of energy. So. There, lunge into it, nice, and one more, there. Sliding the foot to the side, the arms open, and the head turns to look out that window, and we come back. And then, look, focus forward now, and one more time, there. Focus forward, this leg, straight out, toes up. Yes, and the fingers spread apart, nice, there. Good job. Other side, lunge into it. Don't hit anyone. Straight forward, putting some of the weight on that thigh. Good. And now open. Who's out there? No one. Ah, there. It's a hard one, but it's one that we like to do. So there, flat back, straight out with that foot, toes up, palms of your hands facing the ceiling. Great job. Have some water if you need it. If you don't, we're going to keep this position. 
but we're gonna turn just a bit. And now that front chair leg is in between the feet. The hand close to the back holds the prey. The outside arm and leg extend in opposite directions. Oh, there's a rope there. Grab the rope. Pull it in, round the back, tuck the chin, the leg comes in, and again, stretch it out. There are three ropes there, Gary, so we're gonna grab that second one. Good, pull it in. And one more, stretch it out. Grab it and pull. Nice. Then we come up and we swivel around. Placing our feet. Chair leg in between them. The inside hand holds the frame. Outside arm reaching, stretching, lengthening the spine. Beautiful. Grab something. Round up. Tuck everything. And again, stretch it out. Beautiful. Reach for Marsha. And then curl it up. One more. Awesome job. Curl up. Tuck the chin to the chest. Arm and leg in. And then we sit tall. Are you warming up? <laughs> All right. Back to a starting position again with that space between us and the back. The legs are out. One over the other. Sitting tall for some toe touches. Then gather, reach forward, drop down. Try not to bounce. We kind of keep it slow and smooth. Two. Two. Good. Three. Three. Four. One more. Five. Five. And then the other one on top. <coughs> Sitting tall, keeping the feet on the floor. Reach forward and drop down. One. one. And come up. Good. Two. Two. Up. Three. Three. Yes. Four. Four. Five. Five. Some days they just seem so far away. All right, so arms across. Take them in a wide position. Again, concentrating on that hip area, nose over toes. If that's not the case, bring them in a little bit. Whatever works for you. The arms are out. It's that open hand for some heel taps to the back of the heel. One. And it's up. Two. two. All the way up. Three. three. Yes. Four. Four. I don't hear it. Five. Okay. Six. Six. Thank you. Seven. Seven. Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. The arms drop down and we pivot back to a starting position, which is in line with your shoulders and your hips. The arms are out. More toe touches in the air. It's up. Uh, and two, get excited. And three. If you like this. Ten. on the chair using your body weight the feet are here not to help you up but to keep you balanced the arms are braced here the weight comes forward it's the upper body that lifts you off the seat and down two, two. nice glad three. three three four five six, six. watch that ball seven, seven. Eight, nine, ten. ten, and now close it up. Open. Feet and knees, perhaps a little further out, holding on, sitting tall. The knees come to the chest. It's up. Two, Two three, four, nine, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now separating the feet. Taking that deep breath, maybe having some water, but if not, the arms are here. Lengthening the spine. Use the chair if you need it. If not, it's just there. We're going to shift the weight to one side. One knee is up, and it's a flex foot. Slam on the brake. Point. Flex. Two. Two three. Good. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And now the other 
side shift, lift it up and One, out. Two, three, four, five, good, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Posture helps with breathing, so think about that. The arms are out, the shoulders relaxed, and the hands are just like there. Yeah. And then flex, pull them back. Two, Two three, four, five. five. Keep going. Six, six seven, seven, eight, nine, nine and ten. ten. Open and close for ten. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, good. Five, six, six seven, seven, eight. eight nine ten now curl them into a claw we're in arizona it's a bobcat claw <laughs> and then it's a real tight fist and then a soft hand open and then flip it shoulders relax palms up arms level palms down up down down. Okay, one up, one down. Good. Both up. The elbows real close to the ribs, the arms stretched out, pinching the shoulder blades together. Maybe looking forward, you can't even see your hands. It's so far back. Good. And relax. Extend one, palms up. Underneath with the other hand, gently pulling those fingers down, stretching. And then up, pull them back. Good. And then the other one, palms up, out here where it's a fairly straight arm, and then there. And then fingers up, pull them back. Perfect. And there. They're out where you can see them. Finger taps, tapping each finger to the thumb. Good. Flick. And pressing, forming that circle, pressing against the thumb with each finger. Good. And there. All right. They're here. The elbows are lifted. It's that open hand again. As we close that book, forearms and hands touch, and then pull it back and stretch. One more time. There. And pull it back and sort of a relaxed position, extending the arms, folding one, looking over this hand, slide this one across the chest, down this big sleeve, nice. Match up the hands, the fingers are spread apart, and then pull it out and unfold, and then this one. Slide it, slide it down. Can you match it up? If I could do it with these long arms, <laughs> anybody can do this. Right? And then they come to the center, rotating the arms inward, touching at the wrist, touching at the fingertips, and then pull them back. Good. And then one more. There. There. Chin up. You're going to look forward. Gently pull the head a little closer to the shoulder. Of course, no crack, Larry. Try the other side. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Uh -huh. And there. All right. Have some water. We're going to use the weights. We're going to place them on our legs. Take your time. I'm having equipment failure with my hand. <laughs> All right. I know. And there. So we roll it out to the very edge, that open hand resting softly on the weights. The feet are apart. Sitting tall and looking forward, extend a leg. We're going to lift it up for 10. It's a relaxed foot. It's one, one sorry, Marcia. Two, two, three, two, three four, four, five, good, six, six seven, eight, eight, nine. Now flex ten, the foot up one, and down. Two, two ten, three. three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It comes back. The other one extends without looking down, looking forward. Lift it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. 
Shifting to the other side, it's up and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Whoever hits five first, all right, it's one, two, three, four, five. Great job. So we've added a little extra weight to those legs. So we're going to put this on the floor somewhere out of the way. And in, in class, you should have a tennis ball. If you're at home, um, just modify or just pretend, but we use these a lot. Our balance begins at the bottom of your feet and is um, centered in your core. So think of your posture as you sit here. We're going to warm up our hands and feet, and if you have those shoes that come off quickly, not today you don't, take them off, you'll feel it much more. So we roll it and then sitting tall, Stretch the fingers by putting that in between. And then the other hand. Good posture, a soft fist, the ball on the fist. Eyes on the ball, turning just the head as you take the arm to the side. Beautiful. And then to center, and a little close. No, don't lick it. It doesn't taste good at all. <laughs> Extend the other one very close. We roll it or place it in that hand, turning just the head, tracking the ball and balancing it on that fist, bring it back to center, and bring it close, and extend it out. Good job. On the floor. So if you took your shoe off and you have stocking feet or bare feet, you'll feel this more than those of us with shoes on, but push down on it. Stimulate the bottom of your feet. That's where your balance begins. So take care of your feet. Mm, nice. All right, and then the other. Push down, rolling back and forth. Very interesting, a red and a fuchsia. <laughs> this is very cute. Okay. <laughs> okay, grab that and put it into the chair. That's where we keep it here. Put it away, in other words. So we're going to come back into this seat, keeping the feet wide for balance, but pulling them back slightly behind the knees. And you just took out something really cold from the freezer, like an ice cube, and you stuck it <gasps> under your shirt. Well, yeah, it kind of would take your breath away. That is what you feel like when you engage those muscles. So keep them tight. Pressing into the chair, arch your back. Yeah, arch your back, and then close it up. Again, arch your back. Close it up, looking forward, pressing your spine into the chair, the legs extend, feet lift, circle one, two, two three, three, four, five, five. the other way, five, five four, four, working three, ankles, two, two one, and again, they come back to that position and behind the knees slightly, away from the chair, you're still back there, you're just not leaning into it, shifting the weight, rocking from side to side and that opposite hip lifts to bring you a little closer to the front and the arms out palms up shoulders relaxed the feet glued to the floor to work those abdominal muscles so don't touch and come up the arms open the chest lean back and up the arms overhead Lean back and up while we repeat this one. So lean back and 
Come on, get ready. Go back and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful job. Come all the way up. Placing the hands here. Shifting the weight. It's a flat back. That weight is way out in front. Nose over toes. A heel is up. Then the other heel is up. The first heel drops. Second heel drops. So it's up, up, down, down. Pushing into the ball of the foot. Up, up, down. One more. Up, up, down, down. Just heels. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down. Nose over toes. So all of this comes forward. Hands can be here or here or here, but not on the knees. So here, it's all the way up, placing the weight in the ball of the foot, beautiful. And standing tall, bending the knees, the weight placed in the heel, back into the chair, back to the starting position. Nose over toes again and come up. Great job. Too bad you can't see them. <laughs> They're doing incredible. Again, great. <laughs> and your point? <laughs> you don't want to do 20 of these motions? <laughs> Two more. Four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> awesome. One more. All right. We used to do 11. I know. <laughs> Think about that. Oh, uh huh. And back into it. All right. Thank you, Trudy. So, fingers spread apart, placing them here, the elbows stretch to the side. It's a warm up, actually, for the real deal, which is a seated crunch. So as you twist this time, lift the knee to the opposite elbow and touch. Two, Two and three, and four, and one more, five. Good job. Catch your breath, have some water, and we're going to use the larger ball. So if you had to get out of your chair to grab the ball like I did, make sure that you've got that space between you and the back. The ball is held at the palm of the hand. It's placed on the chest and the elbows dropped. Focus is forward. The arms extend, reaching from the hip. The arms don't drop. They just reach out further and further from the shoulder. And we hold two, three, four, Five, and come up, the arms now extend overhead. The feet, keep them on the floor. Two, three, four, five. And again, come up, drop it. Tracking the ball, twisting at the waist. Pull it, pull it, pull it, and hold. Two, three, four, five. Hit center and twist to the other side and hold. Two, three, four, five. Great job. And here, the space should accommodate this ball on the inside. Keep away from the knees. The hands are on top. The feet touching if they can. Sitting tall, squeeze it hard. Why did I blow that up so much? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, soft but firm, not, not overly inflated. Are you counting? Mm -hmm. 14. <laughs> 18, 19, 20. 20. <laughs> Great job. Separate the feet and hold on to that ball. We need to get out of the chair. We're running a little bit late, but we will not be using this ball anymore. So when you come up, nose over toes, and then to the back of the chair. Um, <coughs> It's a very, very, very large class here, um, if, and, um, and I'm so happy to have everyone. Make sure that when you stand, what you've brought into class, whether you've used it or not, maybe it's an umbrella, no, okay. not today, or jacket or something, that you put it on the seat or directly underneath, because sometimes we walk around and we don't want to trip. So you're standing to the back, 
Using the chair if you need it. The fingers are here, and if not, they're here by the side seam of your hands. So heel lifts. It's up, down for 10, 2, two three, 3, good, 4, thank you, 5, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the weight is placed in the heel, and the toes are up, down. I have to hold on. 3, Four, five, good, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake it out. We're gonna a little far away. We're gonna do some lateral leg lifts. So from this midline, we're gonna shift our weight to one leg. Again, um, a soft knee, a straight leg, eyes off the floor, and this other leg goes out and in for ten. It's one, one two, two, good, three. three. Four, not too Five, high. Six, six seven, seven, eight, eight good, nine, nine ten. ten. When you put it down, make sure it's directly underneath those hips. Eyes off the floor, other side. It's one, one two, two, three, good, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. And now just for the camera. We're still behind the chair. You might have to angle your chairs too because we're gonna do some leg lifts. So who's behind you matters. <laughs> okay, so we need to, does everyone have the space? Steve, you okay back there? The wall? It's just, it's just a wall. Okay, all right. Eyes off the floor, the weight is on one leg and this one to the back. And it's up, down. Two, three, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep it back there, bending a standing knee, sitting into that stretch. Does that feel good? Yes. Stretch it out, yes. Perfect. Come up, bring it forward, but keep it hip width apart. And eyes off the floor. Again, it's up, down. Two, three, four. Five, count, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend and stretch it out. And come up, very nice. Now we're gonna be standing to the side of the chair. Our body pretty much in line with the frame. Feet again apart, eyes off the floor. The weight on that inside leg, the hand here for safety. As you slide this outside leg forward, don't look down. Look forward and lift it up. It's one, one two, two, good, three, three four, five, five, good, six, six watch that seven, ball. Eight, nine, nine ten. ten, and bring it back. And to the other side, thank you. Again, we're here. The weight shifts to the inside, the hand is here, eyes off the floor, the outside leg forward, and it's up. Five, two, two, it's a relaxed three, foot. Four, five, five good, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. <laughs> My ankle gave out on me there. <laughs> All right, nine, ten, <laughs> up to the back of the chair. Um, our feet flat on the floor, shoulders, hips, and heels. They're kind of in line, so connect the dots. So if you're too close, you end up standing like this. If you're too far away, you're reaching for it. Probably not great for balance, so you want to be just far enough away that the fingers can rest here. But if you don't need it, it's here. Flat on the floor, soft knees but straight legs. Make sure you use this if you need it. We're gonna turn to look over the shoulder, the eyes off the floor, following the horizon, good. Nice, Dennis, bring it back to center. And now to the other shoulder. Trying to get the mobility just in the neck and not the shoulders and chest. Now bring it together. Yeah, soft knees. 
piece, the chair if you need it, maybe even a hand or a couple <coughs> fingers. Turn, nice, and bring the focus back to center. Turn to the other shoulder, good, and center. Feet apart again, just resting those fingers here. Look up. and look straight down. Feet together. This is a scary one, that's why everybody's, yeah. <laughs> look up, stretch, and look down. Good. The feet again apart, shoulder width apart, our fingers remain on the chair because we're gonna close our eyes. Yeah, there are people on the other side of that wall. That's, it's, that's life, right? So yeah. it's a bit of a distraction, but keep your fingers on the chair, close your eyes. Open your eyes, fingers on the chair, bring your feet together. Don't lock the knees, close your eyes. Open your eyes and separate your feet and let those arms down. Um, we're going to do some cardio, and um, this is probably the biggest class we've had in a while. Um, so I ask that you kind of stay real close to the chair, your chair, um, or stay seated, but there's no reason why we can't stay in motion. So make sure that everything is clear. Come, uh, come around your chair. Thank you. 
One weight, both hands on it. Good. Sitting tall, the last weighted exercise before a cool down. So it's a flat back, reaching forward, drop the weight between One. the feet. It's straight up. Two, Two. up, up. Three. three, straight up. arms. Four, up, up. five, up. reaching up. high. Six, Six. up, up. seven. Six. Up, eight, up, nine, up, ten, up. Great job. Sue, you're brave. <laughs> Walking between the whole So sit tall, sit forward, take a deep breath through the nose, and out through the mouth, inhale, exhale, again, and center. Listen. And then to the other shoulder. Again, drop the chin to the chest. Sit tall as you circle the head. The other way. Drop the chin. Raise it. Look up. Down for the last time. The focus is forward. The shoulders are too. And you lift them up. Pull them down. Keep them down. Be healthy, be safe, and above all, be kind to each other. Thank you. Thank you.